Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am playing Super Mario 64 and I just died. Um, so Mario Wings to the Sky is what I'm doing. Sorry, I have to take a drink of my cherry herbal tea, cherry hibiscus herbal tea that for some reason I decided to get. Oh my gosh, I'm like tired all the time, which I know is just because I'm still getting over the flu, but oh my goodness gracious. It was funny too though, when I went to the doctor to get diagnosed with the flu, because uh, Lucas, I had taken him, the whole reason that I even took him to the doctor is because we went to, um, we went to something called the Zeus News, which if you watch my channel regularly, it is um, our most recent vlog. We went and spent the night at the Toledo Zoo with the Cub Scouts. It was really fun. We got to sleep in the aquarium room. Um, we got to like, they got to like see animals, um, like one on one, like with certain like smaller animals and stuff. And it was, it was really cool. It was a really fun, cool experience. Um, but what happened is we left on a Friday and okay, can you just, can you let go? Get I don't, I don't know how to make him let go. Um, anyway, we left to the, or we, we left on a Friday after school, and then, um, oh, okay. That didn't work at all. Um, we left on a Friday after school, spent the night, or, like, drove to the zoo, and then, like, there was, like, a program and, like, some stuff that we did. We went on a late night hike, stuff like that. Um, made what's called enrichment things, like for the animals, like stuff for the animals to play with. We did all that. And then, um, and then, uh, from there we went to, uh, went and had like a pizza dinner. Well, Lucas and Tyler both really weren't into eating the pizza dinner, and we figured, oh, shit, I'm pretty sure that I don't have my cap anymore. Um, we figured it was because, um, we had stopped and eaten Wendy's on the way there for dinner for the boys. So just figured, oh, okay, they're full. No big deal. And then, um, sorry, I'm like getting distracted trying to figure out where I'm at. And then in the morning, Lucas woke up. And his stomach was upset, so it didn't feel good. I was like, okay. Figured maybe he was hungry. Well, he didn't want to eat breakfast, didn't really want to do anything, just kind of wanted to lay there. And when they were doing the next animal demonstration, he asked if he could just go, like, lay off by himself. So I said, yeah, and I let him lay off by himself. And next thing you know, he's throwing up all over the place in this, like, little room with like animals and stuff and, uh but then he said he felt better so i was like okay maybe he just needed to throw up so we still went and like explored the zoo for a couple hours and then we left it was probably like 12 30 in the afternoon when we left maybe maybe closer to one i don't know and we drove for a while like on the expressway and then nick pulled off because um tyler had wanted to go to Burger King for lunch. So Nick pulled off the expressway probably about a half hour into our drive. And and it was a two hour drive, by the way. And um, and then um, we went to, or we got out at like the Burger King parking lot and Lucas was like, mom, hold on. And he leaned down and threw up again all over the place. And Nick was like white as a ghost because he's over here thinking that, you know, Lucas is going to mess up his truck. And, um, so we, Nick was like, all right, well, we'll, we, we'll eat inside and see if we can get Lucas's stomach to settle. So me and Nick and Tyler ate and Lucas just kind of laid there. I did get him food, but um, he was not up for eating. He asked me if I'd get him some and then bring it home for him. So I did. 
And um, I'm sorry, this is like a long rambling story that honestly just all boils down to my kid ended up with the flu. But anyway, we get home Saturday afternoon and Lucas fell asleep. And this child slept all day Saturday, all night Saturday. Woke up Sunday, still like wasn't really feeling that great, just was tired, didn't really want to eat. Well, then by Sunday night, he had a very small fever. And I was like, well, shoot, if he has a fever, he's not going to be able to go to school in the morning. So I didn't send him to school on Monday. Me and Bob were both like, whatever, we'll let him have the day to just feel better. So then Monday, he wakes up still with the fever, but it starts getting progressively higher as the day goes on. By the time I got Jaden and um, Tyler from the bus on Monday afternoon, Lucas's fever was up to 103.2. And I was kind of freaking out a little bit because I didn't have any kind of like Motrin because I don't usually give my kids anything for fevers unless they're really high because fevers are, you know, they're meant to fight off whatever your body's trying to fight off. So I usually just let them fight it off. And I was kicking myself for not having for not having anything because son of a bitch because uh his fever was high well thankfully my friend tiffany brought me well oh and i called the pediatrician um i called it his regular like his doctor and i was like hey listen you know he's got the super high fever should i take him to urgent care tonight or should i try to get an appointment for tomorrow and they were like well we have a 10 30 in the morning tomorrow why don't you just bring him in okay can do that so instead I opted to, or I mean, uh, my friend Tiffany brought me some Motrin and I gave Lucas Motrin and that helped his fever. Brought it down, it got down as low as um, 101.1 at this point. So that was as low as it got though. So then I bring him to the doctor the next morning and he was like developing a little bit of like a rash on his face almost. And we were like, what is this? So the doctor thought maybe it was scarlet fever because he's had scarlet fever before. And so, you know, we thought, okay, maybe it's scarlet fever again. So they did a throat swab for strep, and then they did the nose swab for the flu, which Lucas hated very much. And it came back positive for the flu, and from that point on, he was literally like, he didn't want to play video games, like even on Saturday and Sunday. He didn't want to play any kind of video games. Like, that's how I knew it was sick. He did not touch that Xbox for over a week. And um, eventually he, you know, finally started getting a little bit better. And, you know, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely was good. But, oh my goodness gracious. That was like, that was the sickest that kid's been, I think, since he had scarlet fever. When he was like three. So that was definitely quite a... Uh, Quite an adventure. Ugh, every fucking time we get right to the coin and he does his woohoo bullshit. Um. But yeah, so. It was, uh. It was definitely an interesting week. And of course, you know, the minute my child finally, uh. The minute my child finally starts to get better the entire school closes like he didn't even he hasn't been back to school since he was sick because the he was supposed to he they like when he got oh son of a bitch when he got the flu all right i'm gonna stop with this for a little while so i'm not gonna spend like my entire life doing this so we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere else actually let me look and make sure that i haven't been recording for like a hundred freaking hours but yeah anyway so he uh he was, um, okay, yeah, it's only been nine minutes. Um, but, yeah, he, he was off that whole entire week. The doctor said he had to be off for a whole week. And because of that, he, um, he missed a lot of school now. Like, it's, it's, it's been a lot of school. And it's kind of like, I don't know. Not really sure what to do in that scenario. Alright. Because, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen, like, when it comes to school. I really, I don't. And it's, it's kind of upsetting. You know what I mean? Like, 
don't know. I know I already ranted about school once, so I won't go off too much about it, but it's just really, there's a lot of uncertainty happening right now. Okay, I guess you can only get one star from this world. That's boring. Um, Alright, where else can I go? I guess back in the basement? Or wait. What's, what's in here? Oh no. No, that's another door outside. Okay. Oh, hello, Boo. Come on, get off the damn tree. Oh. Alright, go on a ghost hunt. Let's go. Come in here, hee hee hee. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I have to find like X amount of booze in here. The boos are super shy. If you look them in the eye, yeah, I already know all that. There's some out here as well. I feel like there might be some inside here as well, right? I have to find like eight of them or something.
I do not remember what I'm supposed to do in here. I know I have to go in here and find the booze. I'm sorry if you can hear Lucas. It gets very, very loud in there. Okay, let's see if I can try this again this time without, you know, falling off. Oh, oh my gosh. I can already tell this is going to be the biggest pain in the ass in the world. Oops. I'm running into doors. Right. Oh my gosh, do you see me? I'm like the worst about opening a damn door. Oh my fucking god! drive me absolutely bananas. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be here for like nine hours just trying to do this one part of this one level.
Now it's funny because a lot of people, um, or I, no, not a lot of people, I expected a lot of people to like really freak out about like our kids being off school for so long and like all this kind of stuff. And shockingly, I have seen and heard pretty much all people who are glad that the kids are off school and want them to remain off school for the remainder of the year to keep them safe. So that is actually kind of shocking to me to have, you know, normally like if it's a snow day or something, people are freaking out like one single snow day. So to have our kids off for literally like six weeks or more and have all the parents be totally chill with it, it's, it's really shocking. I'm thinking a large part of it though is because most of the parents, you know, with the, you know, small percentage of people who, well, not even that small, but you know, with some people who are like grocery store or healthcare workers obviously have no choice but to uh, but to work. But a lot of the people who normally might need um, childcare or whatever are off work anyway because of um, because like the place that they work or whatever is closed anyway so that could be part of why there's a little bit less anger because, and it could also be because the one person that honestly complained the most on my entire Facebook feed is no longer and ironically oh shit I was going to say, ironically, doesn't even have elementary age children. She has grandchildren. Um, but that one person deleted me because I called her out for kind of being mean to her kid, honestly. Like, really judging her daughter and her parenting, and it kind of made me mad. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I, um, I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that even the people who are, like, work in the healthcare field or work in grocery stores or you know whatever like essential businesses I have to stay open even they're not complaining that um that their kids are home they're complaining a little bit sometimes about you know having to work with the public and one person for some reason works in a grocery store and refuses to let her kids be home like she's sending her kids to live with other people for this this point and I don't know if it's because she um I don't know if it's because she, uh, okay, how, like, now what do I do? Okay, I don't really know what to do now. Um, I don't know if it's maybe because she, um, like maybe her kids have some sort of health issues and that's why like that's the only thing I can think of because otherwise why would you not I mean everybody else I know who works whatever has has their kids home so I don't know I'm not gonna like judge her or anything for it I mean it's her kid her choice if she's not comfortable with them being home because of her work that's totally fine but I do halfway wonder if it's not her mother that is kind of suggesting that she do that I mean, don't get me wrong, I do not want my children getting sick, but at the same time, um, and my kids don't have under any underlying health conditions, and everyone's pretty, pretty healthy. Um, I think I would worry more about Bob than anybody because he's a smoker and he's over 50 and all that jazz, but... I mean, I'd worry about any of us that got sick, but... And honestly, maybe Alyssa, because she does have a lot of health issues. And it's, it's very difficult for her. But honestly, Alyssa thinks that she might have already had it, because she did have, um... Like a, an illness that lasted a while but she like stayed away from all of us like she stayed up in her room and really didn't even eat or anything 
That's like kind of scary. Not scary. I shouldn't say scary. It wasn't scary, but it was like concerning, I guess is the better word. But she really was not wanting to like leave the house or leave her bedroom because she just was not feeling good. to do that whole thing all over again, aren't I? Alright, I've got to look and see how long I've been recording for. Give me just a minute. So I'm pretty sure it's been a while. Oh my gosh, 26 minutes, 27 minutes. Alright, I'm going to stop this. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye guys.